Imagine you're on an island getaway to Madagascar, only it's not the lush, tropical paradise you'd expect. You've somehow arrived here 70 million years ago, in the late Cretaceous period, and this version of Madagascar is a whole different world. The island teems with terrifying predators. Cannibalistic theropods and lightning-quick notasuchians roam the land, turning this paradise into a dangerous game of survival. So, if you're trying to find safety, you might instinctively seek refuge by the water. But in Cretaceous Madagascar, this choice might be a fatal mistake. Not only did the waters of this ancient island contain sharks and crocodile-like reptiles, but they also housed an even stranger creature that could rip your head apart. Meet the giant, bone-armored frog, Beelzebufo and Pinga. This monstrous frog was unlike any we know today, earning the name Beelzebufo after the demon Beelzebub from ancient lore. Its title is fitting. This frog looked as devilish as its name implies. Beelzebufo was first discovered in 1993 within the Maivarano Formation. However, the initial find was so incomplete that the specimen was stored away, left collecting dust for over a decade. It wasn't until more remains were unearthed that scientists finally revealed Beelzebufo to the world, quickly dubbing it the Devil Frog. The unveiling of Beelzebufo stunned paleontologists worldwide. Its size was incredible. Early estimates suggested this giant frog weighed more than 10 pounds, around 4.5 kilograms, and measured up to 16.7 inches, 42.5 centimeters from snout to vent, roughly the size of a chihuahua. With these dimensions, Beelzebufo easily outclassed today's largest living frog, the Goliath frog, by 30%. In fact, Beelzebufo quickly claimed the title of the largest frog ever discovered. However, this record was later questioned in 2014, when researchers analyzed Beelzebufo's remains and argued it might only have weighed around 7.3 pounds, 3.3 kilograms, roughly equal in size to the Goliath frog. Still, even if it wasn't as large as initially thought, Beelzebufo was an enormous amphibian by any standard. But size alone wasn't what made Beelzebufo so terrifying. This frog looked like something out of a nightmare. It had two bony ridges above each eye, resembling horns, giving it an ominous glare that would make most animals think twice about approaching. These horns may have even been brightly colored, signaling to others in a sort of devilish, stay away, warning. In addition to these horns, Beelzebufo was covered in small bony structures known as scutes. This natural armor, similar to a turtle's shell, earned it the classification of a hyperossified frog, meaning it had much more bone in its body than typical frogs. This armor likely made Beelzebufo a tough opponent, especially when it had to defend itself against the fierce predators that roamed Cretaceous Madagascar. But here's where things get even scarier. Beelzebufo didn't just look intimidating. It had the bite to back it up. Once paleontologists fully reconstructed its skull, they realized this frog had a massive mouth that could reach over 6 inches, 15 centimeters wide, when closed. Based on its bone structure and muscle attachments, scientists estimated that Beelzebufo's bite force could reach up to 2,200 newtons, for comparison, that's stronger than the bite of a human, pit bull, gray wolf, and even a leopard. This monstrous bite force allowed Beelzebufo to crush bones, and it's likely that anything unfortunate enough to be caught in its mouth didn't stand a chance. The formidable bite of Beelzebufo has led scientists to speculate about its diet. Typical frogs usually eat small insects and invertebrates. But Beelzebufo's powerful jaws suggest it was after much larger prey. In fact, it may have even hunted young dinosaurs. While there's no direct fossil evidence proving this, paleontologists believe that Beelzebufo's bite was simply too strong for a diet of insects alone. This frog was likely capable of taking down animals as large as itself, or even larger. Its prey may have included snakes, turtles, fish, crocodile-like creatures, and even small dinosaurs. But it wasn't picky. It would still gobble up smaller creatures like insects and amphibians if they crossed its path. To catch its meals, Beelzebufo probably relied on the same hallmark hunting technique used by modern frogs, its tongue. Today, all 4,700 living frog species have powerful, retractable tongues that can shoot out at high speeds. But it's not just the speed of a frog's tongue that makes it deadly. It's the unique properties of the tongue itself. A frog's tongue is one of the softest biological materials ever tested, 10 times softer than a human's tongue and even softer than brain tissue. This softness allows the tongue to wrap around prey, gripping it tightly. But the real magic lies in the saliva. Frog saliva has non-Newtonian properties, meaning it changes consistency based on movement. When a frog strikes, its saliva becomes up to six times stickier than honey, securing its prey and making escape nearly impossible. 
with its deadly combination of armor, a powerful bite, and a sticky tongue, Beelzebufo was a terror to any small creature that dared to come close. And scientists believe that Beelzebufo was likely just as aggressive as it was fearsome. Paleontologists have compared it to the African bullfrog, which is notorious for being territorial and quick to attack anything it perceives as a threat. If Beelzebufo shared this temperamental nature, it would have been an incredibly aggressive predator, striking at anything roughly its size or smaller. The only comfort for its prey might have been its lack of agility. Unlike smaller frogs, Beelzebufo's large size and forward-placed legs made it a poor jumper, meaning it likely relied on ambushes rather than active pursuit. It probably waited near water sources, where thirsty animals would come close, unaware of the hidden danger. Madagascar during the late Cretaceous wasn't an easy place to live. It had a semi-arid climate with brutal dry seasons, yet it was bursting with life. The island was home to a strange mix of creatures, including dinosaurs like Majungasaurus, Repetosaurus, Masiakosaurus, Rahonavis, and an unnamed Titanosaur. But it wasn't just the dinosaurs that made Madagascar unique. The island also held a diverse array of non-dinosaur life, partly due to its isolation as an island. There were over 12 species of fish, crow sharks, a range of crocodile-like creatures, and even giant snakes that rivaled today's reticulated pythons. Madagascar was anything but a safe haven 70 million years ago. But despite the terrifying predators of Cretaceous Madagascar, Beelzebufo remains one of the most intriguing. Its significance isn't just about its size or ferocity, but also what its discovery revealed about ancient Earth. Paleontologists found that Beelzebufo was closely related to horned frogs, which are native to South America. This discovery raised an important question. How did a frog from South America end up in Madagascar? One theory is that Beelzebufo's existence suggests a land connection between South America and Madagascar around 80 million years ago, possibly via Antarctica. Frogs can't cross saltwater oceans, so it's unlikely that Beelzebufo swam there. And since no similar frogs have been found in Mesozoic Africa, it's unlikely it came from there either. This theory remains controversial, but the presence of Beelzebufo on Madagascar certainly adds an interesting twist to the island's history. In the end, Beelzebufo was a master of survival. It lived through harsh climate changes, evaded dinosaurs, and thrived alongside an assortment of predators for millions of years. It adapted perfectly to Madagascar's environment, equipped with a powerful bite, an armored body, and an appetite for anything that crossed its path. But even the devil frog couldn't withstand the catastrophic asteroid impact that struck Earth 66 million years ago, ending the age of the dinosaurs and the reign of this colossal amphibian. So the next time you think of frogs, imagine Beelzebufo, the giant armored predator that once terrorized Madagascar's prehistoric waters.